All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another SLG Meetup. I'm very excited to be doing one of these again. It's been an interesting summer, but today we have with us Jennifer Farrell. She is a celebrity interior designer and TV host. And she's been doing such incredible job with some of the most remarkable homes in California. And she's going to be telling us about also the great appearances that she's had in the show, such as Find Me a Vacation Home, Behind the Gates, and Most Amazing Homes. Thank you for joining us today. It's very exciting to have you here today. Well, it is fabulous to be here. I, uh, I, I would love to say that we're having one of those beautiful Miami Beach days. It's actually a little overcast here in California right now, which is sort of strange. It's hot everywhere except the sunniest place on earth. So <laughs> hello from cloudy <laughs> California. I got to tell you, though, you are always looking fabulous. I don't know if it's Alvaro, that is not the lighting, Instagram. Not I swear, <laughs> every time, every time I see you on the camera, you look fantastic. So it is a pleasure having you here. And it's very interesting because everybody gets so excited when we talk about interior design, especially when we incorporate the word celebrity. You are a celebrity interior designer and also TV host for some of the I guess most engaging shows when it comes to interior design. So tell us a little bit about yourself. I, I love to hear that the shows are engaging. Thank you for that. Um, so, you know, there's two parts to my world where I have an interior design firm, Jennifer Farrell Designs, which has been around for 20 years as of this year. And which Amazing. is crazy. I'm only 24. So how could that possibly <laughs> be true? And then I wrong. also host and design. <laughs> I'll rub your hat and correct you on that one uh and then i host and design on television shows and so i have had the luxury and privilege of going in some of the greatest real estates really in the world and uh, you know we have beautiful homes in miami we have beautiful homes in southern california you and i are very lucky that we get to hover around some of the the great real estate and the real beautiful homes mm -hmm. in uh, in design right now. And so I get to ride both sides where I'm creating design and then I'm also exploring design and real estate on my TV side. I, I love it. And I see that you're always showcasing some of the most remarkable properties in California by the hand also of some really successful and mediatic real estate brokers. I've seen you with Sally Foster and some other people from the Million Dollar Listing Show. So how fun is that? It's really fun. You know, James Harris and David Parnes and Sally Forster Jones and Kofi Narte and Aaron Perman and uh, Stefan Pompoli. Uh, I always mess up his last name. Sorry, Stefan. Uh, but <laughs> You know, I get to work with some like mega agents. And what's exciting about that, besides their celebrity factor, is that they're so tapped in to the absolute premium real estate. And so I get a sneak peek looking at properties that really are, are wish fulfillment kinds of properties. Job is a privilege because I'm getting to work with the absolute best in the business and learn some of the insider secrets from them. Let me ask you this, because I find very interesting your journey. You started as an interior designer, and then as you were progressing on that career, you started to get towards TV. At what point in your career you decided, you know, wow, I, I, I want to get into it? Well, it's interesting because we have to go back, you know, 900 years to my childhood when I was doing both sides of the coin anyway. I was always the kid who wanted to jump up on the stage and tap dance and sing and entertain people. And then I was always the kid who was, you know, building Barbie houses and I would put wallpaper <laughs> on the walls and I'd put carpet and make little curtains. So I, there were two sides of me always. And then when I went to college, I went through an undergraduate theater program at the same time I was going through a graduate design program. And everyone's like, you have to pick a job. You can't do both. And interestingly, that turned out not to be true. I had a really lovely, yes, a really lovely balance over the last two decades of my career where I launched Jennifer Farrell Designs in 2001. 
And by 2003, I was co-hosting on Merge, which was my first regular series. Mm -hmm. And that show did exceptionally well and really helped put me on the TV map. And then I've been working ever since. And they've actually led me to my current project, Calibu Vineyard, which is sort of this 18 month uh, showcase experience where we're tra transforming a 7,300 square foot abandoned home in the Santa Monica mountains into this 19 room modern Montauk inspired retreat on a working vineyard. Now, would you say, cause obviously you've been doing this for almost two decades, that that's been the formula. I would say that the two sides of my career require different recipes for success with entertainment, being on camera, uh, there's definitely a certain skill set that is required to be able to walk and talk on camera and be somewhat comfortable and believable and accessible. I wanted to ask you, Jennifer, because a lot of people that are in that industry, whether it's as a developer, as a real estate agent, interior designer like yourself, and they start seeing these shows, right? Shows like the ones you have going on or the famous Selling Sunset or Million Dollar Listing. When you look at these shows, it obviously shows all the glamour, a little bit of drama, but the glamour of the, of the world of real estate. And it inspires a lot of people to want to get into it, plus also work on their personal branding. However, it's not easy. How do you get yourself to land on one of these opportunities to be on a TV show or how do you start? Well, how you start if you want to be in the real estate TV world is you better be really good at real estate. And that is a combination of hard work, determination, and a lot of time investment. You know, we watch these beautiful shows and they look so fun and so cool. And I can tell you like James Harris, Kofi Narte, uh, David Parnes, these are people who make it all look smooth and easy on TV are the hardest working people in the business. So jumping into the TV part of it just doesn't happen. You have to have built a real empire of real estate. And the only way to do that is with an intense amount of time dedication. And in regards to social media, right? Because social media is like a new way of consuming content and YouTube becoming, in fact, one of the most consumed platforms when it comes to videos. So that's why you know, Netflix is really cool, very nice. Also some other TV channels, but YouTube is still and will remain a really strong presence when it comes to video consumption. So how those that don't get to be on TV can improve their social media presence through platforms like YouTube or Instagram? Well, social media is an ever evolving beast. And we forget that even though it is really the way that we connect at this particular moment in history, it's still a relatively new concept. And so that's where, you know, TikTok can come along and five minutes later, <laughs> there yeah. are a billion people on TikTok. Uh, we're learning as we go about different ways to connect through social media. I do think that cross promotional platforms are really important. So if you're really getting started on building your social media presence, then you need to be building it along with others. You can't really do it in a vacuum. And so that mm -hmm. means connecting with others online, getting teamed up with people that you respect, that you like, that you believe in, following them, encouraging them to follow you, start bu building really good content, create the content, do as much cross promotion as you can. And that's how you have to slowly doesn't happen over overnight. It is, even though suddenly you can go from having five followers to 5 million, but you have to build that. Besides talking about social media and the importance of combining your work with some kind of presence online, I wanted to ask you, because I ask this question to everybody that comes on board here, what is luxury to you? Ah, uh, the key word, uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually in a production trailer, which is relatively luxurious on a construction site, but I'm in the production trailer at Calibu Vineyard and our key word is, we keep saying, relaxed luxury. So what is luxury about? To me, it is the feeling of being pampered, of being safe, of being enveloped in things that feel good, things that look beautiful, things that inspire you, things that make you feel like you have been treated. And so luxury can really be represented in a lot of, we each sort of have to 
look at what that means for us personally, but then also as a real estate agent or as a designer, what is luxury to you and to your client? So I do think that for me, luxury is really about a sensation. It's about a feeling. It's not just about the aesthetics, but it's how I love it. Like you feel. Yeah. A feeling, a feeling. And relaxed luxury. You know, it's the first time I hear that. And it's a great concept. I want to keep it in mind for sure. Especially for those that live in crazy luxury, relaxed luxury. You know, it's about your feeling. It's all good. <laughs> Amazing. Well, look, Jennifer, you've been phenomenal and you've been sharing so many interesting points when it comes to interior design, also TV, how to work with celebrities, but also most important, how inspirational you are. Is there any key ingredient that has helped you become the woman that you are today? I, well, thank you for saying that. I think that the key ingredient on success are timing, talent, and tenacity. I've said that for 20 years, the three T's. I think in any career, you have to have all three. You've gotta be in the right place at the right time. You have to have the talent to back it up. And then you have to be tenacious. You have to stick with it. I think for me, the one thing that I try to emulate in my TV career, in my design career, and just on a personal level, is being respectful and kind. Respectful and kind. Two of the most important words on the planet. Uh, we sometimes throw them around loosely. I talk about mm -hmm. them every day. People ask, what do you want the most? Kindness. Be kind to each other. Be kind to the people around you. Be kind to strangers. Be respectful. But be kind and respectful in your work because working, everybody's working hard. Everyone is trying to get their job done. And so kindness and respect respectfulness, not just with clients, but with, you know, the 20 people who are running around Calibu Vineyard in the background right now, <laughs> watching our drywallers and our tile installers and our cabinet makers, everyone's got a full-time job. And so kindness and respect, I think are the, the things that I really want to hang on to both in my personal life and my career. Amazing. Thank you for sharing that. I feel very deeply that one. And I agree with you. So those are excellent points. And, you know, before wrapping this up, because I know you're also really busy and I'm respectful of your time, I wanted to ask you, if somebody wants to tune in to watch your shows and see what's going on on the Calibu Vineyard or anything else that you're doing, which is a lot, where can they find you? Well, I would love for everyone to follow the transformation of Calibu Vineyard. You can follow on uh, Instagram, on Facebook, and at our website, calibuvineyard.com. That's C-A-L-I-B-U, because we're halfway between Calabasas and Malibu. So follow <laughs> along it. with Calibu Vineyard as the transformation unfolds over this next year. And then you can watch my shows, Most Amazing Home, uh, uh, Most Amazing Homes, and Find Me a Beach House, which is my new show. Those are on AWE, the Wealth Network. And then you can also watch our Calibu Vineyard show on Tice TV, which will be streaming live next year. Wow. We are not going to get enough of you. It's going to be all day long, but it's exciting because what you're doing is phenomenal. And I find that all these shows so entertaining and especially very inspirational to see how you can take something that has a lot of potential into amazing. So thanks again for been here today, Jennifer. Congratulations again on everything that you're doing. Is there anything else that we didn't discuss that you would like to say before we say goodbye? Be sure to follow our luxury group. Enjoy Alvaro and all his <laughs> brilliance. Uh, and we'll see you guys on, on every real estate show. Oh, wow. You're the best. And if you ever make it to Miami, please let me know because there's also a lot of opportunities over here. And um, by the way, I'll be going to California in the end of October. So I'll let you know and hope to see you soon. Perfect. The vineyard for a glass of rosé and we will scroll through the vineyard. Oh my God, can't wait for that. I might even then anticipate a little bit earlier that trip. <laughs> All right. But Jennifer, thanks again. And thank you everybody for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll put everything on the comments about your information so that people can follow you and we'll stay in touch. Thanks again, Jennifer. Have a good day.
Thanks, Alvaro. Thanks, everyone.